All right, hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4 with me, Classic Gamer, and this is a tribute LP to the one and only Paul Haddad, the original voice actor of Leon, and I said in the last video that, you know, if Paul had of, um, uh, not stepped away from the franchise, which I think was a good decision, um, and especially if he then became ill, I, I, I fully respect that decision, um, because it's a very, very brave and big decision to make when you step away from something that you love. A bit like um, uh, uh, the, the man who did the voice of Sam Fisher, uh, um, oh, Iron, something Ironside, um, he stepped away because he had um, a, a problem with it. I think he had cancer um, and he stepped away from it and there, I saw a thing where he fully respected that decision and of course we fully respect that. That is a very, very, very brave decision. A very, very big decision to step away from something that you love and cherish so much. To allow a younger actor to come forward. And with the fact that the original two uh, voice actors of Claire and Leon did step away. Um, the fact that they're now, they're now doing a Resident Evil 4 remake. The new voice actor. This, is, this, this second game is his second. If they do bring him back, that is. Which I, I fully expect them to do. But um, I... The thing that I like about the uh, Resident Evil 2 remake is... I'll let this finish first. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. So, uh, the new voice actor of Leon... Um... Uh, he portrayed Leon in a, in a very different way in the remake. In the original Resident Evil 2, uh, Leon was a bit, um, I wouldn't say a bit wimpish. Uh, he, he wasn't wimpish. He was a very sort of like, he was uh, determined to save everyone. And he still has that momentum and that determination in the remake. But in the original, he was, as my guide pointed out, very wet behind the ears. <laughs> uh, very, um, very rookie. Very, very rookie. And very sort of like, you know, thrown into this really horrendous situation which no one ex no one was prepared for. Um, and in this one, he's, he's a lot more rounded um, than he was. But in the remake, he's got that kind of like, almost background kind of like, all you know experience with him where like he's he, it seems that he's already he's probably already gone to raccoon city in the past whereas i believe in the original he had never gone to raccoon city he was traveling for the first time but it seemed that he had probably already been there to get the job um which just is really is just like a nice <laughs> And, um, yeah, and also, uh, not only that, uh, uh, Ada was very different in the original. If you remember, she was very, um, not really wanting to really communicate with Leon, not really wanting to sort of, like, acknowledge him. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Uh, and in the, in the, in the remake, she is very, very, very different. Um, but, you know, an FBI agent, you know, that kind of thing, which was very, very different to how she was in the original. And I like how they changed up the characters. I think it gave them a bit more uh, light. And I think they had a... Because um, between Resident Evil 1 and 2, uh, as we know, Resident Evil 1.5 was being created. And in that game, 
Leon was already part of the Raccoon City Police Department, and I think in the in the in the remake, it's almost like that's kept being uh, you know portrayed again. You know, he is um, already sort of like maybe already gone through training and stuff like that. When you know, it doesn't really come apparent in the original that that was the case. That's just my interpretation of it. That's one of what we need for this. Or not. Alright, so, yeah, so, um, obviously, Ada is very, very, and this is why I think making, uh, now that I think about it, the use of Resident Evil uh, for a remake is not actually surprising. Um, I think people are probably, some people I know are not admittedly happy about it because they love the, the, the this, what this game has. Uh, this game is the most haunted Resident Evil from uh, memory. Uh, which you know is not surprising. Um, yeah, it's the most it's the most haunted out of out of all of them. It's and we are back in the village.
So I, I'm definitely behind um, a Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, I d I'm not. I'm very interested to see what how they what line they take what line they take though. Also, as well, the other thing that has excited people is the um, is this Eight the Village, uh, which is a situation of Resident Evil. Um, oh, what's it called? Resident Evil uh, Seven. And me, I love Seven. I thought it was I thought it was awesome. I really enjoyed Seven, and it was the first time that I actually enjoyed a first-person uh, game, and and one that I actually went back to. I love the Baker family. Um, I loved how that you know they were all, they were pretty much unkillable. Um, they were you know that they would chase you around a bit like you know. Nemesis or something that might interest you. Especially Jack. You know, when I first played that game, Jack scared me. Got a selection of really good bad things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? What are you buying? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. What are you buying? What are you buying? Is that all strength? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. All right, let's do this. One thing I haven't done is actually go through this game on my PS4. Or have I? I can't actually remember. <laughs> Ah, 
have that, bitch. Survivor kick from Leon S. Kennedy. Kennedy, not Kennedy. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Right, I'm not sure if we can do this, this uh, puzzle yet. Oh. oh my god, I never noticed that one. Okay. We can do this now. So it's three 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 four 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 three. Three three three. Four, 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 three. Now, does that fit? Yes, it does. Nice. I always get, I always forget that, that, um, that puzzle. So I'm going to go for a little bit longer. Than the two fugitives, the apprehension of Lewis, Lewis is our top priority. The American agent is a distant second. What Lu Lucas stole from us oh, is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back and execute our plan to the end. If I, if it gets in the wrong hands, the world will be to a totally different place than what Lord Sander has envisioned. At all costs, we, mu we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get her, to get her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sagma. The key is beyond the lake and should be safe now that Del Lago has, has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get access across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through, 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 courses through the agent's veins. It'll be just a matter of time before he joins us. Or once he does, there'll be no one le else left that will come looking for the girl. Whoa!
There we go. Sound good. I believe he is in here. Oh, hang on. Okay. Well, that's something that was on on there that I could have had, but obviously not. So he's now going to give me a, um, a gun now. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Now, I've heard the, uh, Punisher is not very good, but I've always liked it. What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you selling? I'm gonna get rid of the handgun. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? <laughs> but Thank you. Later on, we get we get the opportunity to buy the red knight. That is a lot better. What are you selling? That is a lot better than the uh, Punisher. Is that all, strange? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, strange? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Is that all, strange? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and do this next part because uh, I want to get out of the way and finish and done. Now I have my cat coming to say hello and just, she's basically just rubbing her face against the uh, chair trying to get my attention. As soon as the attention's not on her, she can't stand it. Sucks. Come on then. Come round. Look, if you're gonna come round here, at least come round properly. I don't want you sitting behind me. Yeah. Be sure to let me know if you can hear her, guys. Yeah, she's now laying on my arm. With her tail almost hitting me in the face. Oh, not...
damn it. I can't I can't get any, I can't pick up any more. Did <laughs> 
out of my way. So I think I'm probably going to finish this video in a minute and then call this, call this a night on recording. I love recording, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's getting late and I'm, I'm so tired at the minute. I'm actually near the end of the chapter, so I'm actually gonna I'm I'm gonna fight this thing. I'm gonna fight Al whatever his name is. The big fish thing. But one thing I I, I wanna show this off because I, I find it rather uh humorous. Uh just i I'm just gonna save state it. So just give me a second. Cause I don't want this I don't want this to be counted as a death. But if you Right, if you do this, and I'm actually going to save it again. again. Wolf's how. So I, I'm not going to count this as death. I'm gonna, and I wouldn't be able to do this in the uh, PC version. But we do this. And if you do, if you do this, so you see the more <laughs> that happens. <laughs> That's rather humorous, I think. And it's unavoidable as well. But we're not going to do that. Whoa, drop the frame rate.
god, seriously. Come on, Leon! Why is this part of the game struggling so much? Leon's dead. Game over. <laughs> Not really. All right, guys. That's it. That's the end of that one. So thank you very much for watching. We will drop a safe state down. I think I'm going to do that at the end of every chapter just to make sure. And also, it means I won't have to necessarily worry about loading it every single time. So we'll save it here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. God, whatever is slowing down this game is probably down to 22 frames.